frontline guys that you think about with the Big Ten, which would be a Shea Patterson at Michigan, Chase Young at Ohio State, and so many other guys down the line will not be there. What this has become is let's recognize our seniors uh, who have put their time into the program and may not make such sexy copy for the people who are there. I mean, if Shea Patterson was there, uh, I mean, that alone would be a great interview for anybody. Uh, and certainly uh, Chase Young is potentially the number one, two, three, four, five pick in the NFL draft. Um, it's the same thing with Nick Bosa. I don't believe, you know, he ever made an appearance in Chicago, obviously he wasn't there last year. So for whatever reason, everybody's got to send their three program seniors to this thing instead of the guys who are your best players, who are the three and done guys, you know, and I even made a comment on Twitter. It's like, okay, send those three guys. So they get their due, but throw us a bone <laughs> as, as uh, uh, Mike Myers, uh, Austin Powers, throw us a freaking bone, send the three and done lot you know top half of the first round draft guy nick Bosa well, should not excited there last for you with the whole urban meyer thing though i mean do we really oh, need we, to... we had we we had more than we could handle I last year say, i remember driving over on the way driving over there and everything was happening with with you know zach smith's employment and whatnot i, I don't think i could have handled nick bosa or shea patterson or jesus christ being there at that point i had a <laughs> my hands were full Let's also yeah. not forget the 2015 season where we get to media day and that's when the, uh, the suspensions come down for, for Joey Bosa and Corey Smith and all of those guys. Sometimes Steve, a boring media day isn't so bad. All right. Okay. Well, I'm just saying, you know, when you have a chase young and you're trying mm -hmm. to sell tickets and you're trying to drum up excitement for the season or a Shea Patterson or whoever else, those guys should be there. Okay, let's put that aside. How about Steve, Steve, real quick, Steve, real quick. How about if the media gets to pick one player from each team, like that beat, you know, gets to nominate somebody. Jerry Emig, OSU's SID, can send whatever three, or Ryan Day can pick whatever three he wants, but then we get a pick too. We get one spot. <laughs> that's hilarious. That That's never going to happen. But I agree with you. You follow what I'm saying. It's like yep. – you go there and it's nice to talk to, you know, these guys who are great kids. And what I'm getting at is a leadership on this team to kind of shift a gear. Jordan Fuller, uh, Jonathan Cooper and KJ Hill were the three guys selected from Ohio state. And that tells you from the coaching staff, who's working the hardest, who's got the best leadership capability, who's handled their business uh, in the classroom. Uh, you know, as coach Meyer, used to say when he was the head coach, you had that elite top 10%, you had the 70 or 80% in the middle, and then you had the uh, the 10% at the bottom. Uh, obviously, these three guys are in that top 10% of, uh, of their scholarship players where they wouldn't have been selected for this uh, at Ohio State. So uh, just a thought from you guys about those three guys, Fuller, Cooper, and Hill. And if you had to branch out from those three, who else in your mind is a charismatic guy who ought to be a captain on this 2019 team? Yeah, I'll jump. Go ahead. I'll go ahead. Jump. Yeah, I'll, I would say um, it's always good talking to Robert Landers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's he's always a good answer. He has charisma, a good time with it. Out the out the yazoo. Yes, what so a great he, kid. And, and he enjoys it. And a lot of times that's that's the key is, is players enjoying it. Some some players don't want to talk to the media. And, and that's fine. I don't blame them. The answers we get are very uh, bland, and you can tell they, they don't want to be there. Robert Landers would talk for his hour and then hang out for somebody else's hour and just continue to talk and, and give you good stuff and interesting stuff and insights that you don't always get from, from um, players because this is a guy who has uh, come from you – know, he, he's a five six nose tackle, all right? So um, he, he's a very different kind of cat. But Cooper, Fuller, KJ Hill, we've talked to them so often, and you know you, we, this this doesn't surprise any of us. I don't think Jordan Fuller is a two-time academic All-American. 
He'll give you exactly what you want. KJ Hill kind of came back to be a captain and take part in this. So these are all, like you said, rewards and um, good for them. Great for them. We will spend an hour talking to each of them and, and we'll get what we can. Um, but I wouldn't mind seeing Robert Landers or, um, you know, like you said, Chase Young. It's always you know, talking to Chase Young after bowl games when he's talking about what he wants to do next year. And I want 10 sacks. I want 12 sacks. I want to set school records is always fun. And maybe getting him for an hour would be interesting as well. Kev, what do you thought about uh, these three guys and any other leadership potential type guys on this team? Yeah, I think that these guys, I mean, first and foremost, you're not going to get a lot of message board, you know, bulletin board material out of them. They all, They've all played the game long enough. They've all gone through the Jerry Emig, you know, media desensitization symposium. They're not going to say anything too wild. That's why I'd like to see someone like Damon Arnett because we've talked so much about Damon Arnett and, mm -hmm. and how does Jeff Halfley feel about him. He's kind of been a little bit of a, of a lightning rod for fans in terms of maybe some issues that he's had on the field in terms of uh, – and just not being in the right position, being a little handsy out there, but a guy that I guarantee you that we're going to get next year because he just he personifies everything that coaches like to send to this, you know, hard worker, does everything the right way, and doesn't say a darn thing. Get ready, 2020, tough Borland in Chicago. We absolutely are going to get tough Borland next year. So there you I go. I was a little surprised we didn't get him this year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm looking at my Phil Steele uh, – depth chart here austin mack is a senior i think he's got some great leadership potential at wide receiver brandon bowen has been through the ringer the last 18 months with the injuries and everything and he'll be a senior and i know we'll get a chance during the course of preseason camp to sit down and talk with him but uh his story when he tells it of everything that he's gone through and then his personal life, you know, uh, getting married and everything else that's going on. Uh, it's a tremendous story for him. So I think uh, that's kind of interesting. Malik Harrison is going to be nothing but a freak, I think, uh, for Ohio State at the outside linebacker position. So I'd look for him as well. So those are some of the guys I look to. Um, K.J. Hill has an opportunity to go down as one of the uh, top receivers in Ohio State history in terms of catches, I believe. So uh, he is going – and maybe receiving yards is too, I'm not sure. But uh, he's going to set some records, obviously, uh, this year. So it'll be cool kind of talking to him. And J.K. Dobbins, when we get that moment, he doesn't say a whole lot. He doesn't buy in to all the media uh, and say a lot of hyperbole. Um, Usually you get uh, pretty truthful answers out of J.K. Dobbins, but uh, he's got a chance. I read that if he has a really big year, uh, which he potentially could since he'll be the lead back, he could push 1,500, 1,600 yards perhaps if he stays healthy and they play like they're capable. Uh, he could end up uh, second to Archie Griffin perhaps in the end uh, in terms of uh, rushing yards. So that's kind of an interesting uh, thought as well. So there's some other guys. 